I never met my great-grandmother Eulalia, but I have a sepia-toned photo of her. She's wearing a long dress buttoned all the way to the top of a stiff, ruffled collar. She stands straight, her black boots pressed firmly together. My mom resembles Eulalia, but her life has been a little different. I remember mom and dad laughing and dancing around the living room to Dean Martin songs. Mom wore a sheath dress, dad wore dress pants. They had a good time, and I knew it. Eulalia was a mail order bride. In 1896, Eulalia took a one-way boat trip from Stockholm to Ellis Island. On the way, she developed an ear infection and lost her hearing. Her future husband, August Larsson, a widower, was also a Swedish immigrant. He was a brilliant musician. Of course, Eulalia never heard a note he played. When Eulalia arrived, she was greeted by her fiancé and his four children all boys. The two quickly married, and Eulalia gave birth to three more children, also boys. Seven boys. August was reportedly a cold man. They settled in Vermont, a cold place. Mom remembers visiting the family. She says they were very poor. Eulalia kept impeccably clean floors in a spotless kitchen. She even scrubbed the outside of the house. It does not sound like a happy life for Eulalia. Foreign country, new language, cold husband, no money, seven boys. <laughs> I asked mom why the Larsons had three more kids when things were already tough. Was it religion? No, mom replied. They were horny. <laughs> Swedes are horny. <laughs> My mother is over 70 years old. I didn't know she knew that word. <laughs> Apparently she does. My dad was also Swedish. That makes me Swedish. Anyway, a couple... <laughs> A couple of years ago, I met documentary filmmaker Ken Burns. We spoke about how most of us view our ancestors as formal, serious people. Those sepia tone photographs seem to reinforce that notion. Ken looked at me and said, but I mean, your great-grandmother loved sex. My god, the woman was legendary. Did Ken Burns really know about her exploits? No, Ken Burns didn't mean my great-grandmother, Eulalia. What he meant was that it's hard for us to imagine our predecessors may have actually enjoyed sex. Our moms may have even enjoyed sex. Eulalia was deaf with seven boys, scraping through long, cold winters. Notwithstanding, she made the best of her life. One of the world's preeminent documentary filmmakers has validated this. <laughs> and now, when I look a little closer at that sepia tone photo of Eulalia, I notice the edges of her mouth are turned up. It's the beginning of a smile. Thank you. <laughs>